everyone, and thanks for joining me today. So, I apologize in advance if I sound a little um, throaty. There's uh, wildfire smoke in the air where I live right now. Fortunately, we don't have anything close enough that it's going to cause us an actual problem or make us need to evacuate. But because it's so flat here, smoke travels a long ways. There's no mountains or anything to uh, catch it or anything. So, yeah, it spreads for miles and miles. So I was going to go for a walk, but yeah. Oh, silly me. Look what I did. I went and got a new thread when there's one already parked there. My gosh. <laughs> Getting off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, so it was supposed to be really hot yesterday, but then we had all that uh, smoke in the air and it kind of kept the, uh, the heat out. Unfortunately, though, I wanted to open the windows at night. Let some cool air in, but yeah, it's too smoky. My eyes were stinging quite a lot. They're already naturally pretty dry, so smoke in the air does not help. <laughs> yeah, every few years this happens. We had one year was so bad I couldn't even see the uh, houses across the street. It was like driving through clouds. Ugh. Except it wasn't wet, of course. It just looked a little not smooth, but oh my gosh, look at that. Does not want to cooperate today. Oh no, this color is a, from an old, old skin I had like years ago when I first started cross-stitching, so I don't know, maybe it's not as good quality or something. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now this time I actually need a new thread. <laughs> oh my goodness. Try that again. Yeah, as you can see, I ended up with kind of a squared off bit here. As I just follow the colors, that sometimes happens. Yeah, we're in the fountain now. Should have another swan or two coming up. Probably not this diagonal, but. Okay. <clears throat> we just need a whole bunch there. might be done with that color for a while. Ah, oh, yeah, there's some on the fountain, but now there's still a fair bit in this area, so I'm gonna keep that in my working tray. <clears throat> oh, try that again.
Yeah, so this area goes a little slower because you can see there are a lot of threads parked there. Lots of different colors for those flowers. But I have been making good progress. Got over 650 done yesterday. Won't get as many done today because I got errands to run later. But yeah. If I can keep up this pace, I'll be done by the end of the year. We shall see. So maybe getting the uh, supplies to uh, mount it and hang it will be my Christmas present to myself. Yeah, the last Christmas or so, I, I stocked up on a ton of embroidery floss. Got like a half a dozen projects worth all at once. And I said half of the fun of that gift was sorting them out. <laughs> Accidentally highlighting the ones that have already been stitched. That will not work. Seven nine nine. I haven't reached any more zeros yet, apart from the two I've done. <clears throat> Most of my zeros are going to probably come in the next pass across. Because, yeah, that'll be the last horizontal pass across the fabric. Yeah, so my husband's back at work now. He was working on his Unimog all through his holiday once we got home. Yeah, so I asked him, he said he's gonna probably paint it uh, army green or like the uh, the army beige since it's like an army vehicle. So yeah, I said I didn't think he was gonna go with white for that one. Right now it's like school bus orange. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, what have I done here? Okay. One, two, oh, I see. I missed one there. You know what? Hmm, okay. I see what I did, yeah. Ah, I made a mistake yesterday. Okay. Since still fixable, things aren't too snagged, I will fix it. Okay. I'm doing a loop start once I've made it go to the back. It's really, really hard to do. I learned the hard way, so yeah. Yeah, so there should be one, two, there should be 
another stitch right here. Again, good thing for grid lines. Yeah, there we go. And then park that there. So then we grab I could have maybe fudged it and done an extra stitch with this colors. They're very close, but as the other the other thread was parked right there, it was pretty easy to just do it in the correct color. So, yeah, I will. Every now and then I will fudge it if it's close enough. Unless it's in a critical place like an eye or something. But if it's in background and the colors are super close, sometimes I will just, yeah, do it in the wrong color and say good enough. If even I won't be able to tell where it is. But yeah, like I said, good thing for grid lines. And this is why I try not to leave unstitched squares and try to go methodically because I'm less likely to miscount that way. Yeah, if you do decide to do that, I heard someone recommend you count off your grid lines if you have them and not off of stitches that are already on the fabric because if you've placed one wrong then you can end up basing a lot of other stitches around that wrong one and then you end up with a whole whole bunch that you need to pull out that's no fun yeah i want to be stitching not fixing <laughs> need to zoom in a bit more here. Oh, that looked a little funny. There we go. My finger is too thick to uh, select just one stitch so I was having problems. Oh dear. Okay, this piece is not terribly long. Yeah, hard to believe it's almost September. Oh yeah, I'm excited because new uh, Star Trek Lower Decks comes out this week, so. Yeah, looking forward to that. I've said it's um, it's like if a uh, Star Trek in Futurama had a baby. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people didn't like it, but yes, it's very silly and almost like a spoof of itself. But that's why I like it. I like when uh, people can laugh at themselves.
This session I find I'm doing less traveling sort of up and down the diagonal like I was for a few sessions just because of the way it worked out. Okay, not much left on this one, but I should be able to get a couple more stitches out of it. Okay. This one's still threaded, so I'm going to do a few more with it. Deciding what I want to do here, which color I want to do first. It's not threaded. I think I may just leave that one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I have two of this parked. Okay, yeah, that's a short one. I had a feeling it would be. Now, let's see if I can get this one uh -huh, without trimming it. Nice.
this. Here's the short one I pulled up earlier. Hopefully you get those fires put out fairly soon. Hasn't been as bad. I remember a few years ago we had um, Fort McMurray basically burned to the ground. <clears throat> so we had a huge influx of uh, people who'd had to escape from there with just what they could fit in their vehicles. Yeah, I felt so bad for them. People really rallied around though. It was really nice. There was a lot of restaurants giving free meals to anybody who had evacuated uh, Fort McMurray. There were uh, lots of drives people could do to, uh, yeah, raise money for people for their medications and things. Because, uh, yeah, some people had to leave with, you know, <laughs> nothing. there was always some jerks there was a family who their whole truck full of what they've been able to save from uh, the fire got stolen which I said that's really low you know I mean it's always bad to steal from someone but yeah to steal from someone in that situation that's really low Yeah, there was a bunch of warehouse or something got set up with uh, donated clothes so people could come in and get more. <clears throat> yeah, I've been really lucky, knock on wood. I've never had to be evacuated for a natural disaster, so. tornadoes hit there's not much we can do thankfully we haven't had any near us we've had warnings but so far we've been we've been lucky mm -hmm. okay so here's a thread I can finish off Yeah, there's not really much any boring parts in this pattern. Like I've said before, this is probably the most complex pattern I've ever made. Like I've made bigger ones, but a lot of them had bigger areas of color that were the same color. 
This doesn't really have any monotonous parts. Yeah, when I need a break, I have still working through the background on Firefly, and I finally got my new piece of fabric uh, gridded up for my uh, marvelous garden. So the first two pages are almost all one color. So I'll get a start on that one again sometime. So that was the one I uh, I blew it. <laughs> I uh, I used O1 white tin instead of one white and yeah they're different enough you can tell so People say they're intimidated by my work. It's like, well, I'm just as human as the rest of us. I blow it too. Hmm. But then I'm intimidated by some of the stuff other people could do. I can't draw or paint. Anything free form, I'm not good at. I mean, this kind of thing, you're just making basically little pixels. And I'm not designing it, I'm just following a pattern. So, yeah. That is its own thread. I thought maybe there was another thread wrapped around there, but no. It's all one thread trying to tangle on itself. gonna see how long this one is here. Okay, that's pretty long. This one is not bad either. Okay, so what I want to do, but I think looking at the direction they're going, I am going to add another one there. All right, let's see what I've got. I think I might have, oh perfect, I do short piece suitable for only one stitch so I will do that one right there just by itself and that is exactly what I saved these little pieces for okay just making sure I'm in the right place ah yes that is there <clears throat>
Okay, that's a long one, but yeah. Carrying it down, there's a bit further than I like to go. It's more than an inch, so I'm going to end this one off and start again. When I get to that area there. It might be time to reboot my tablet soon. It's getting a little sluggish. <laughs> Hope they'll be done working on the highway today. <clears throat> kind of avoided going shopping because they've been fixing one of the main highways. Yeah, my husband was saying the other day he was going to make a quick run to the store and then he ended up in the construction traffic for quite a while. So we'll see. That was last week, so maybe it'll be done. I hope. Oh, yeah. It was a joke we had that in Canada we have two seasons, uh, winter and road construction. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately with our cold winters, our streets do not last very long. Because of the big temperature changes, it's contracting and expanding a lot and then it breaks. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about this company that supposedly developed um, a paving that was made with recycled old tires that uh, lasted a lot better because it's rubber, right? So it, it can um, withstand a lot more um, um, temperature changes and abuse, but that it unfortunately is a lot more expensive. So that's why it's not really being used much yet. And I mean, it's kind of nice too because... Uh, Way to use up old tires. They gotta go somewhere, so. Yeah. Maybe we'll see more of that in the future. Okay. So I'm kind of going back into this right corner here and then working my way out as usual. I'm gonna run out of threads to pin stitch into pretty soon. Huh. Yeah, I prefer pin stitches to drawing along the back. I find them more secure. I've accidentally pulled out ones that I've drawn across the back before with uh, the pin stitch. It's pretty much impossible to accidentally pull it out. 
Of course, the only problem is if you put one in wrong, then removing it is ugh, really difficult. <laughs> okay, and that's another new thread there. trying to split the threads already in there instead of coming up next to them. Okay, this is short, but I think I can probably get these last three stitches out of it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. <clears throat> One, two, three, just double checking and grabbing the correct thread because there are a lot of very similar blues here. Oh, goodness. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. And I can see I'm going to end up with more than one thread in this area if I don't want to skip all over the place and close stuff in, which... I try to avoid. I make more mistakes that way. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, yeah, that smoke is getting to me. Oh, yeah, I'm unfortunately pretty sensitive to it. Can't even take books that have been <coughs> in a house that someone has smoked in. Yeah, I found them. Um, this was sort of before ebooks really came onto the scene and there was a uh, website selling used books. And they said, quality books, oh great. So I put it in order, ordered like, you know, 20 paperbacks. They came back to me, it, oh my gosh. I couldn't even have it in the house. They must be chain smokers where they work because you could smell it across the house. Like, it was disgusting. <laughs> And I sent them an email saying, you know, I don't think you should call books that stink of smoke, reek of smoke, good quality, never got a response. So I ended up, I didn't want to, you know, lose all the money I'd invested because a lot of these were, you know, out of print, harder to find books. And I'd spent, you know, a fair amount of money on them. So I, um, I looked it online. There was all sorts of different, uh, Tricks. The one that I found work was kitty litter. Put it in a 
box or a Ziploc bag and you sprinkle kitty litter all over them, even fanned out the pages and got it in between them. So of course they're not as perfect quality as they were before, but at least they were readable. <laughs> so I changed the kitty litter out a couple of times too. So my husband uses it uh, in the garage to um, soak up oil spills. So even if it's stinky, it works. So I took some, used it to absorb the, uh, the smoke smell and then um, gave it back to him so he could use it to absorb oil with it before it got thrown out. So dual purpose, but yeah, I was pretty annoyed and it took oh, weeks to get that stink out. One I heard supposedly that they use in um, car dealerships is um, coffee grounds and a cut open apple in them. Supposedly that absorbs smells really good, but well, I didn't want the books to smell like coffee and uh, yeah, it wouldn't really make contact with the pages. So I was kind of worried that it wouldn't um, really take the smell out. So yeah. I tried the kitty litter and that worked. People said you could use baking soda, but baking soda is a lot harder to get, you know, dusted off your pages. Kitty litter is fairly bigger granules, so yeah. But I had to do that and then sort of, yeah, whack all the particles off them. So they weren't in great condition, but they were readable. And yeah, I never bought from that place again. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. I liked to go to, there was a used bookstore chain, so you could bring in stuff and exchange it for, so all the stuff that you bought there was half of the retail price, and then if you exchanged a book, they gave you a quarter of the retail price back. So yeah, I don't know if they're still open. I haven't been for a long time because I don't really read paper books anymore, and they're in the big city, so... Yeah, I'll have to look it up, but I know they had some in Calgary that they closed down. And plus with the pandemic, right, a lot of a lot of businesses that were on their last legs did not, unfortunately, survive the pandemic. So, yeah, but yeah, I don't really read paper books that much anymore. Like I have one that I've been working on for weeks because I just, I don't pick it up that often. And with ebooks, I I've always got one on my phone or which I have with me. So if I have, you know, five, 10 minutes somewhere while I'm waiting, just pull it up and read a bit more. But when I go on my walks, if I'm out of podcasts to listen to, I'll use the uh, accessibility features to get uh, Siri to read it to me. So, uh, yeah, sometimes those accessibility things though, tell you we were traveling and we were leaving the ferry and so wanted to put the address where we were going to the gps but wouldn't let me type it in while we're driving it's a safety feature but i'm the passenger i'm not driving so it should have been okay for me to do it, but it wouldn't let me so i tried to use the voice one and even though i paused between the number and the street it took one number from the house number put it on the street and then tried to send us to a different province like five provinces away like <sighs> very irritating like I said they should make a feature where it at least asks you know I heard blah 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 is this correct and give you a chance to finish it or something but to fix it but no we tried like two three times and finally we just had to find a place where my husband could pull over enter it in and then we could carry on and I said well so much for a safety feature you know now we're looking all over the place trying to find a place to pull over you would just let the passenger enter the bloody thing <laughs> oh And I said with seatbelt and airbag sensors, it knows there's somebody sitting in the passenger seat. So we should have been able to override, but nope. And of course, when we realized that we were already on the leaving the ferry, and I mean we couldn't stop there and block everyone behind us, you know, that'd be a real jerk move. So oh dear. Yeah, we were one of the last people to get on the ferry, but not the last to uh to be unloaded, so. 
well, plus I'm pretty sure the controllers there probably wouldn't like it if you just stopped mid uh, disembarkment. They gotta get you uh, unloaded so that they can load the next batch of people on, right? Yeah, especially since it was a long weekend, so it was busy. Yeah, we f we totally forgot. It was a long weekend when we decided to travel there and everything was booked, so we had to get up like three in the morning to catch the 5.15 ferry. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I definitely needed a week after the trip to really recover. <laughs> yeah, they said it takes a lot longer to erase sleep debt than people think. Most of us are usually uh, operating at a sleep debt. Okay, yeah, so this was where I decided I was gonna have another thread, and I think I might, yeah, need to grab a new one for my envelopes. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to kind of skip a little bit and go here. This way I don't close anything in. As per my usual method. For all the getting up early while we were on vacation, we had pretty nice weather, so. So I won't complain. <laughs> Would have really sucked to have to get up early and have it gloomy and raining on us, but no, it was beautiful. So yeah, after we visited my grandma, we went hiking that afternoon, so. It's really nice. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of spoiled here because we have lots of parking here. I kind of forgot how on uh, Vancouver Island, of course, there's not as much space. So, yeah, parking is at a premium. And especially with my husband driving a great big truck, Toyota Tundra, even harder to find spaces.
Yeah, oh no, I'm good. Okay. Looks like this short piece is gonna be just the right length here. I love when it works out that way. Okay, reaching the edge of the diagonal here. Nice. Always gives me a bit of a accomplishment feeling. Okay, this one is on the edge and not threaded, so I'm just going to leave it. one is threaded. So I will carry it up a bit. Before I unthread it. This is the short one. I said I was going to try and get these last three stitches out of it. I probably won't leave this one threaded as it's too short to really stay on, so.
Okay, actually that one's out of the diagonal, so I'll unthread it too. Looks like I'm going <laughs> to quit before I get to this uh, really complicated area. There's lots and lots of pinks and purples. Oh, I've done pretty complex uh, spots on uh, camera before, so. <laughs> and I will again, I know that. Okay. Especially in this pattern, it's pretty much inevitable. actually going to do some other colors before I get to that one that was really short. I like when I can kind of do them all at once. So I don't have to re-thread that one twice. Just do it one time. Okay, so now I can do these three here. one there and then park it here. I did all that so that I could then do those two and then tie it off that I didn't have to thread this one 
an additional time. twisty looking. <clears throat> no. Well, so much for avoiding a threading. <laughs> yes, it's really twisty. So, oh goodness, yeah, look at that. There we go. Yeah, that often happens when you get to the end of the thread really twisted and tangled up so there I was probably just being really finicky because I bet no one would have noticed but me but oh well <laughs> would have bugged me there we go one's threaded yes okay they're right on the edge so if they weren't threaded I probably would have just set them aside but since they are Okay, so got a pretty amount, fair amount done this session. So um, thank you again for joining me today. And I hope to see you here again another time. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.